Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming the power of makeup. I've decided to do this video as I've seen quite a few of these floating around and I really like the idea behind it. And the ones that kind of inspired me were initially Becca Rose, who's quite a big YouTuber. I'll leave her link in the down bar below so you can go and have a look. And hers was quite an interesting transformation. And also, my friend Han Win did this recently, and her reaction to it was just really interesting, so I thought I'd give it a go. And for anyone who hasn't seen a Power of Makeup video before, basically what I'm going to do is put makeup on, but only on half of my face, and then we'll look at the difference between the two. And I'm also going to kind of chat to you a bit about what makeup means to me and why I wear it. So I'm going to start with foundation, and I thought because this video is about showing the stark difference between a made up face and not, I would use something full coverage, so I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix. Okay, so that's my foundation done. For concealer I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Again this is full coverage, so I wanted to kind of create as much of a flawless base as I can so I'm going to try and cover up all my redness so you can really see the difference. And I'm just going to blend that in using a damp beauty blender. I'm glad I finally got around to filming this video because I think it's really nice to kind of hear what makeup means to different people and for me I am comfortable with my own skin but putting on a bit of makeup and kind of enhancing the way I look just gives me that bit more confidence. So I'm going to go in and do some setting and contouring now using my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I like to use this shade here to contour, which is called Somba. Because I'm trying to make this quite a dramatic look, I'm also going to use this shade in the centre here just to darken up my contour slightly. And now before I move on to my eyes I'm just going to do some setting um, and I like to use this powder here which is called Lucid. So moving on to eyebrows. I'm just going to spoolie and then I like to fill in my brows using the Naked Basics 2 palette which is this one here and I like to use this shade here which is called Frisk. So I'm just going to set that eyebrow in, in place using Benefits Gamey Brow. For me now eyebrows are part of my makeup which I can't ever skip. And even say if I'm going to work and I'm having one of those days where I don't want to wear too much makeup, I will always put something through my brows. So I'm going to do my eyes next. I like to go in with a cream product first, so I'm using Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Creme de Rose. I just like to use this to even out the colour of my eyelids because they are quite veiny. Then just to set that in place, I'm going to use one of the pale shades from the Naked Basics 2 palette. And I'm going to blend um, one of the darker shades through my crease. Um, I like to do this because I think it just adds a bit of definition to the eye. Okay, and I'm just going to go in with one of the sparkly shades from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm going to use the shade Suspect. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Booty Call. Okay, and I'm just going to blend all of that out with a fluffy blending, blending brush. For my eyelashes, um, I like to give them lots of length, so I've been using the Benefits Eyelash Primer um, before my mascara just to kind of amplify. Um, my eyelashes a little bit, so I'm going to go in with this first. Mascara is Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is what adds the volume to my lashes and keeps them looking nice and black. So I'm just going to do my highlight. I've gone for the 
Balm Mary Luminizer and I'm applying this using um, a Real Technique setting brush. Now for blush, I'm using the Clinique Cheek Pop in Berry Pop just to add a little flush of colour. Finally, I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to line them first um, using East End Snob by Rimmel. And then my lipstick of choice for today is Max Cosmo. So that's it. So this is natural me, made up me. The thing for me that makes the most difference is I get really, really self-conscious about my skin and my redness and like, I know I'm really lucky because I don't get horrible zits and things, but having quite pinky skin and lots of redness is really horrible and like you can see on this side I have it all here and here and here so I just feel so much better when I've got that covered up and my complexion's a bit more even. Anyone that's been following my blog or watching my channel for a while will know how much I love lipstick and I just think I look much more like my normal self when I've got a bit of lipstick on but I think at the end of the day it's important to remember you shouldn't be wearing makeup to impress anyone else wear what makes you feel comfortable and do what makes you feel comfortable I mean I could go out and not wear any makeup if I wanted to but I just love experimenting and trying new things and like I've said I just think it is nice to enhance the way you look sometimes I think there are people out there who wear an awful lot of makeup but they make it look beautiful and if you could pull it off then why not and if you can pull off not wearing any makeup then I think that's amazing too and each and every person is different and as long as you're doing what makes you happy I think that's the main thing at the end of the day so as Mark is actually here while I'm filming this I just thought I'd ask him what he thinks and um, my friend Han did it in her video with her boyfriend and I just thought it was a nice little touch so Mark what do you think which side do you prefer made up for me or natural me? Just be honest. <laughs> um, both. Obviously, like, you don't need, like, much makeup, but obviously, like, you feel a bit better in yourself and a bit happier with the makeup on, so... You're so diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love it if you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you've got any video suggestions, let me know those as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.